Here is a movement called Pushing Palms from the Taiji Qigong Shibashi Wan form. It's a practice which allows us to softly open to what's in front of us, to our day, to our future, without grasping for it, but just trusting that it's coming towards us anyway. It's a practice, if you like, in co-creating with life and with nature. Just give yourself a little bit of a shake to start, or it can be a, quite a vigorous shake if you would like, just to loosen up your shoulders, elbows, hands, spine, bouncing on your knees, let it be felt in your ankles. And then come into the position that we know as standing like a tree. Tuck the tailbone under, equal weight on heels and toes. Little bit of emphasis on the outside of the feet, press the big toe down. Let the chin come softly down a little bit to open the next spine, top of the head reaching towards the sky. Place both hands parallel to the floor, the, the earth, for a moment. And then as if you're picking up earthy energy, let's just do that for a minute. So there's a movement as if you're picking up. Yeah, try it again, picking up. And then place your hand out in front of you and imagine that you're picking an apple. And once again, picking an apple. So here's the movement. We start with loosely clenched fists at waist height. Loosely clenched fists as if you have a butterfly in each palm and you don't want to crush it. And then one hand, it doesn't matter which one for the purposes of this video, one hand extends forwards. Let's do that first. So the palm is extending forwards. Your elbow and shoulder still soft. Your wrist is soft, even though you're flexing it. It's still got some flexibility, it's not tight. And the other hand goes, once again, parallel to the floor of the earth. And that hand is also loose, just standing for a moment. And then we do that picking apple movement. So with both hands, we do that movement and then we bring it back to loosely clenched fists at about waist height. Let's do it again. Let's do the both hands together now. So one pushes forward and one pushes towards the earth. And then that picking apples, gesture, picking up and back to waist height. Let's do it one more time without anything said. Okay. Some nuances. The eyes are coming from further back in your skull than usual. So you're not grasping forward like you would be on a computer screen or writing or something. You're coming from a back, a, a further back place, the eyes, the vision. And the eyes are gazing straight forward with nothing blocking their view. And as you do this movement, palm to earth, palm to horizon, the nuance is that your, the, your day, your time, your future is just coming towards you. It's already there. You're already on the path. So you just encourage it. You take it, bring it, and you plant it in earth. So you have earthy energy and your future, your day incorporated in you. So you bring your future into earthy reality without doing very much at all. This is also really good for your eyes and your wrists, by the way. So let's do a few. Let's add the breath now. 
you follow the in breath as you're reaching out and the out breath as you're pulling back always following your natural rhythm no forcing follow your in breath and your out breath You can use this if you have a particular project in mind. You can see that project coming to fruition and earthing itself in reality. You can play around with this. It's already there in its fulfilled state. Or you can just use it as Qigong, a relaxing, center-oriented movement practice. When you finish, just give yourself a little bit of a shake. Thank you for watching.